another big question on travel is of course how much clothes do I bring? How much clothes do you bring when you do a long time travel? Well, it's of course very different because uh, if you stay only in a warm country or in a cold country, it is more easy than if you have a mixture of cold weather and warm weather, then it's a little bit more complicated. But I always would suggest that you bring like clothes for like eight or ten days, that you have enough clothes for it to last you for eight or ten days. Bring extra underwear and every, uh, extra socks more than those uh, ten days, because mysteriously also on travel socks disappear. Disappearing of the socks, I think it's the biggest mystery in the world. But it also happens on travel, so I say 8 to 10 days for clothes and maybe 10 to 12 days for your underwear and socks. Because so, No to everybody, also to myself, because I had to buy socks pretty much in the start already because I didn't have enough socks. The rest I had more than enough, actually too much. So bring enough clothes for 8 to 10 days and do laundry. Uh, sometimes the hotel or motels have laundry service, but most of the times I just went out in the street and looked for somebody who does laundry service. Also in middle America and Asia, there's a lot of women who do a service, laundry service for you. And it's also a nice way that other people earn some money of you being a tourist in their area. What type of clothes you bring, it's of course uh, the type of person you are. There are many people who say don't bring uh, jeans because jeans are too heavy. Well, I bring uh, jeans too, uh, a pair of stretch jeans. But uh, I also, when I have a travel day from A to B, try to wear my most heavy clothes. So I have my hiking boots on, I have my jeans on, I have my... Uh, the sweater on the waist the most, so you drop the weight in your luggage. It is sometimes maybe uncomfortable, people say, because if you have warm weather and you wear your hiking shoes, if it's warm weather, no matter what type of shoes you wear, it still be warm. So I don't think the difference is that big. I think the difference in having less uh, luggage on your backpack is more important than the weight of and the warmth of your feet. To take uh, clothes along you, roll them up. If you roll them up instead of folding in, the, your clothes will wrinkle less. And it's also very nice to stuck them into your luggage so you can fill actually every space you have. Make sure that the clothes you bring, you can mix and match together. If you think it's important. If you don't think it's important, okay. But I love the color red. And I don't care if it's like red red or orange red or maybe pink red. I just like the color red. So I don't care if it's really matching up. I will wear it anyway. But next to red I brought like uh, black, white and gray. So I can actually combine everything. I had one colorful dress. I can wear them on both sides. Super travel material. And uh, you can just put a t-shirt over it or a vest over it to dress up a little bit more if you want to or if it's cold. But uh, mix, uh, make sure that you can mix and match everything. So, uh, but if you like like blue or green or purple, it doesn't matter. Make sure that you have the t uh, different tones uh, in the color blue or green that it, you can actually mix and match it up too. So the most important thing for yourself is probably that your clothes are clean and are not broken. Other tourists, when you're really a long time traveler, long travel, nobody cares what you wear, if it mixes and matches. But they don't care if you wear the same type of clothes three days in a row and that you have the same types of clothes on the next week too. People on the road don't care. And while you travel, a layer up. So also now I'm here in Bavaria. It is uh, winter and I'm still not very used to uh, staying in one place so long and have a job. But then the key is layer up. So wear a t-shirt with uh, short sleeves 
long sleeves over it, another long sleeve over it, a vest over it, a jacket over it and a warm wool scarf and you're actually good to go also in cold weather. And then just before you start traveling you think do I take item I or do I take item B? I have a tip for you. Weigh them. And if you really doubt if you should bring them, it's probably the best to not take it at all. And if you doubt if you take item A or item B, take the one that weighs the less. That's a nice way to make a decision. Thanks for watching. I want to share my travel experience, tips, tricks and lifestyle with you. So I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. Put on a smile. It's universal language.